Today I want to show you how you can easily back up all your Procreate files without a desktop computer, Wi-Fi or cloud storage. Backing up your work regularly is so important. Hands up if you've ever accidentally deleted something from Procreate never to see it again. I always recommend backing up your work into two separate places. Somewhere in the cloud is good for accessibility, but don't forget that the cloud is simply another word for someone else's computer. You don't own those servers and you also need to have Wi-Fi to be able to connect to them. So I always back up my files in a second physical location for security. If you rely on your illustrations for your future income, then you want to protect that, right? Another thing to note with cloud storage is that for a lot of us, backing up to the cloud is only going to be feasible for a few recent files unless we're prepared to pay a subscription for extra storage space. Us artists love big files and we cannot lie, but the fact is, if you want to store all those big files up in the cloud, i.e. someone else's computer, it's going to cost you after you use up your free storage allowance. Backing up to your computer hard drive is always a good option if it's big enough, but what if you don't have a computer? iPad Pros are so fast and powerful these days that it is totally possible to do almost everything on your iPad and just use Procreate for your illustrations. Well, did you know that it's really easy to connect an external hard drive directly to your iPad Pro, giving yourself access to multiple terabytes of storage to use for storing all your old Procreate files? This means you don't have to worry about running out of storage space on your iPad anymore. Your files can always be backed up safely and you don't have to pay for extra cloud storage. Definitely worth the small outlay to get yourself an external hard drive. So let's have a look at how to do it. Right off the bat, I just want to say that I'm showing you the methods that I use for my iPad, i.e. I've tested it, I use it myself and I know that it works. Older iPad Pros or regular iPads might also be able to connect to an external hard drive with an Apple USB or camera adapter, but I don't want to tell you to go and do anything or spend money on something without it being a thing that I do myself. Okay, so with that said, first of all, you're going to need to check your iPad specs. If your iPad Pro uses a USB Type-C port for charging, then you're good to go. My iPad Pro is a 12.9 inch M1 2021 model. You're then going to need an external hard drive. I use a WD Elements 4TB portable external hard drive. I now own two of these and I've had this first one since 2019 and it's still doing me well. I'll put the link for that in the description. You can choose different capacities from 500GB right up to 5TB. I'd recommend going for the maximum amount of storage as it's cheaper in the long run to get one big drive rather than several smaller ones as they fill up. The next thing you're going to need is the correct cable to connect your hard drive to your iPad Pro. You won't be able to use the cable that comes with this one. You'll need a USB micro B to USB type C cable to connect them. The one I use is a Paxo 0.5 meter nylon USB-C micro USB 3.1 hard drive cable. A bit of a mouthful, I'll put that link in the video description. Again, I have two of these. I've had them since 2021 when I upgraded my iMac to one that unhelpfully has no older type USB ports in it and these do the job just great. So these are the two bits of kit that I use. Then all you need to do is connect your hard drive to your iPad Pro. You can go over to the Files app to verify that it's connected. On here, it will show up in locations in just a second. You'll feel that this has come to life, it'll start wearing, and then you'll see it come in here, popping up in your locations. As a side note, incidentally, if you use a computer and are used to unmounting a disc from your computer before unplugging it, just know that there isn't a way to do that on the iPad. But as long as you aren't actively transferring data at the time, i.e. you're not sending something over to it and in the process of uploading, just know that it is okay to unplug it. If you want to be extra safe, you could lock your iPad screen, wait a few seconds for the disc to go quiet, and then you could unplug it. So, to back up your files from Procreate, first of all, you just need to select them from the gallery. So let's choose these ones up here. I wouldn't recommend trying to do all of them in one go if they're big files. And then you need to tap share, choose your image format. I use PSD because I'll be opening them in Photoshop ultimately, but if you only use Procreate, you can back them up as Procreate files. 
Then you wanna choose save to files, find your external hard drive down there, and then you could either choose an existing folder or you can add a new folder to back up your files to. Let's just call this one Procreate Backup. Tap save and then tap save again. And then you'll see these will start to upload to your external hard drive. That is now done. And now all your work can easily be backed up safely to your external hard drive. To open a file from your hard drive, all you need to do is go to import, come down here to your hard drive, find the file you want to open, tap on it. And there we go, all of the files and layers are nicely intact. It's a good idea to get into the habit of backing up a piece as soon as you've finished it so that you never accidentally delete something again. All the links for the equipment I use are in the description. I hope you found this video useful and if you want to see more weekly tips like this for Procreate, Illustration or Surface Pattern Design, then please consider subscribing. You can also find a more in-depth set of classes from me over on Skillshare where I'm a top teacher. Have fun, stay creative and I will see you next time.